Thriller writer Jamie Frevoletti began her professional career as a lawyer, not a writer. However, she used her free time and experience as a lawyer to help her craft her first works. I started out when my kids were young, and I would write at night. I'd put them in bed, and then after they were in bed and everything was done, I'd write from about midnight till three in the morning. And that went on for a while until, and every vacation, I was always seen at the beach writing. And after a while, it became my career. And now I no longer work as a lawyer, so it's a little bit easier now. And the kids are older. Well, I did a lot of food, drug, and medical device defense. I did a lot of international law. So these were areas I was interested in anyhow. And so now that I write, I write Emma Caldridge series. She's a chemist who travels the world looking for plants with an application in, in cosmetics or medicine. So I used kind of my work to inform the, these are like action adventure thrillers. So that's how it helped. The Emma Caldridge series has now reached five novels, with the latest being Blood Run. With Caldridge being a chemist involved in exotic plants and locations, the novels require a great deal of research. The research is always really interesting, and the, and the hardest part is figuring out what I'm going to use and what I'm going to have to throw away, because it's also interesting. Um, I always have an author's note at the end of my book that explains what's real and how I maybe took that and extrapolated from it. And people love those author's notes because then they can see, oh wow, this really is true. Because some things are, are like more true than you can imagine. One of my books, Dead Asleep, it's based on the mystery of the Sleeping Beauty, you know, the myth of Sleeping Beauty. There's actually a disease that makes you sleep for weeks on end, and then you wake up. And they think that disease is the genesis of the Sleeping Beauty. So it's, it's all kind of interesting, you know? It's great stuff. <laughs> Though lots of research is involved in a Frevoletti novel, there's not a lot of planning or outlining before she sits down to write. I'm a panster. I'm a panster so badly that I am concerned if someone asks me for anything, even like a synopsis. Um, Elmore Leonard wrote the best synopsis I've ever seen. And whenever I have to write one, I go back to his and kind of try and remember how to do it. But I just sit down, I have an one, one line idea, and then I go from there. I never know the ending, and I just keep going until the story's done. I rewrite every day, so what happens is I'll write a story, I'll write a thousand words a day, let's say. So I write my thousand words, the next morning I review those thousand words, and I immediately see things I want to change, very quickly. It's fresh in your mind, and you've had enough time to like review it. So then I do that. And that happens every day during the whole course of the novel. Then I go back and redo it again for the entire 94,000 words, which is about what my books are. Frevoletti was also selected by the estate of Robert Ludlum to write a novel using the Covert One concept created by Ludlum, who turned out to be her mother's favorite author. My first book, Running from the Devil, the Emma Caldridge series with the chemist who travels the world, um, won a Barry Award and a Best First Novel Award. The Barry Award is uh, awarded from Deadly Pleasures Magazine. The Best First Novel was the International Thriller Writers. The estate of Robert Ludlum was looking for someone to write. They were interviewing 10 different authors and they eventually narrowed it down to a few of us. And then when I won the Barry Award, I think they, they came to me and said, okay, let's go. It was great, <laughs> it was great. Did I ever think someone would come and, and tell me to write Robert Ludlum and my mother's favorite author? She used to, she turned me on to Robert Ludlum. No, and when I told my mom, she was ecstatic. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this. Frevoletti is currently working on the next Emma Caldridge novel, a standalone novel for a new series, and just had published a Sherlock Holmes short story in the anthology, For the Sake of the Game. I always think I am in so far over my head that I am drowning, but I always say yes, because I, I figure the worst that can happen is someone will say to me, we're not gonna accept this book, we're not gonna accept this story, and it'll be an editor, and editors are usually gentle, and they'll have an idea on how to make it better. And I'm a pretty good listener, if it's good advice, I take it. So I, I always hope that it takes a village to make a book, that that village will help me get to where I have to be. But I'm always afraid, I'm always afraid. BCPL spoke with Frevoletti at the Creatures, Crimes, and Creativity Con, an annual gathering of writers and fans of genre fiction. The 2019 con features keynote speakers David Mack and Julie Heisey, and details can be found on their website, creaturescrimesandcreativity.com.